Good Monday morning, everyone. Looking at our weather alerts this morning, all the gray shaded counties you see in our region are for dense fog advisories. So um, those will be lifting as we get later on into the morning, but those folks have had a time with some fog today. And then the green shaded counties that you see across West Tennessee and Arkansas, that's for a flash flood watch. So they're going to be mindful of some very heavy rainfall that will be coming their way over the next 24 to 48 hours. You may also notice that brown strip across the North Carolina, Tennessee border, and that's for the higher elevations of those mountains. They are under a high wind watch that goes into effect Tuesday morning for winds that could gust up to 55 miles per hour. Look at our daily weather map for today. You see strongest severe thunderstorms across the lower Mississippi River Valley really kind of focused in on Arkansas. They're expecting a terrible severe weather outbreak um, to develop there as we go through the day. Um, all modes of severe weather possible. They're also under that risk for flash flooding. And then further to the northwest, you see uh, the winter storm component of this system dropping heavy, heavy snow and freezing rain um, from Wisconsin all the way back to, down to Colorado. Just a big wintry mess there today. I saw where some folks were going to get freezing rain and very gusty winds. And we all know that's a terrible combination. So a very active weather day across the country. And that active weather will make its way into our neck of the woods um, by tonight and tomorrow for sure. Today we're looking pretty good. Just a chance for a shower. About a 20% chance. Tonight showers increase. We also have some rumbles of thunder coming in. Some of those storms could get a little strong later on tonight with some light, cloud ground lightning, some small hail possible. I'll keep an eye on that. That's kind of a 50-50 situation. So I'll give you an update as we go through the day on how those storms are looking for tonight. Not looking for any severe weather, just looking for some rumbles of thunder and some heavier downpours possible tonight. Tuesday, the heavier downpours, cloud ground lightning, um, some possibly some small hail, all looking likely on Tuesday. Um, with some of those storms could even have um, some severe thunderstorms mixed in with that that goes into tuesday night as well showers taper off on wednesday and then temperatures drop wednesday night down to more seasonable levels down to around 33 degrees and then thursday and friday looking more seasonable as you can see on the right there our normal high for today, our normal high for this time of the year is 45 the normal low is 28 so the end of the week um, this cold front coming through just brings us back down to more normal levels and the daily hazards, I did take off the severe threat for tonight. I do think that any storm that develops will stay below severe limits and could just be strong. So, and again, I'm going to keep you updated on that because that, that part of the forecast could certainly change. And then for tomorrow, I did lower rainfall totals tomorrow. I had them two to three inches. I'm now doing one and a half to two. Some of y'all may get a little bit more. That depends on if you get under a stronger storm with heavier rainfall. You could still top out two and a half, maybe even three inches tomorrow. Um, or Tuesday, I mean, and then winds 30 miles an hour out of the south. And then, of course, that low risk for severe thunderstorms, which does include a low risk for a spin up tornado. So I am keeping a very close eye on that to let you know how that threat evolves. On this day in weather history, the coldest temperature of record for the state of Hawaii was established with a little 14 degrees atop that mountain. <laughs> 1961 that was, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. 1906, this is, the, this is the guy we celebrate every summer, Willis Carrier, received the patent for the world's first air conditioner. So we will be, we will be grateful to him once again, I'm sure, here over the next, in the, within the next several months or so. You folks have a wonderful Tuesday and keep looking up for even more weather information, including more graphics um, on the severe weather threat that, that we have coming toward our way for Tuesday. Uh, just keep reading along that blog, muralgismart.com.